hey. So I look like shit, and I sound like shit, and oh well. <laughs> I got sick on the way home from, where the hell was I? Orlando, last week. And now it's turned into like a bit of a sinus infection, because like I have pain when I push on my face. And my husband thinks it's really funny, because when I say, my face hurts, he says, well, it's killing me. Mm-hmm. Bad dad jokes abound. Anyway, <clears throat> I look like poo poo and I'm making this video anyway because it's important. It's important for me, I guess. And if it's something that you needed to hear, then that's great. Okay, so yesterday I was still very sick. I am, I don't even feel like I'm better today than I was yesterday. And for three months, I have been avoiding my gym. Not J-I-M. G-Y-M. And my gym has a lot of sentimental value, okay? The gym that I was going to, that technically I am still a member of until the first of the month, is called New York Sports Club. It's on... Um, it's on Austin Street in Forest Hills, and it's where my husband and I met. And we named our first son Austin, because the gym is on Austin Street, okay? So there's a lot of sentimentality there. There's a lot of connection there. Now, I've, I've joined and unjoined this gym about three times since we met in 2000, okay? Um, but yesterday I quit again and I don't want to say I quit, but it is, I quit. Okay. Um, and my husband is still going there. He still has a membership there. Now I am, I am, it's going to sound like I'm making excuses, but I really do feel like going to that gym is a waste of money for me, for a couple of reasons, it's very stale inside. It has not been updated in a very long time. And what I was using over the past couple of years since my hip replacement surgery was the lateral X elliptical machine. Okay. It goes from side to side. It's kind of like an ice skating machine. And that machine has been broken for a year. They have two of them and people used to stand in line for them. Every other gym that I've ever been to has at least five to 10 lateral X machines. But for some reason, New York sports only had two and they used to go unusable, like, you know, broken on a regular basis. And I finally said, you know what? Screw it. I can't, I, I just, I don't want to go there and it not be available to me anymore. So, the locker room is really outdated. The cardio equipment is really outdated. The weight machines are the same weight machines that were there when my husband and I were going there in the year 2000. I've actually been going to this gym since, uh, 2000, uh, since 1998. Okay. 1998, same equipment since 1998. Okay. Half of the time you got to like Jerry rig the stuff. It's got like duct tape on it and stuff. It's like really ridiculous for a New York city gym. Right. So I, I finally, I had been avoiding it for three months. I finally said, screw it. I'm going to quit that gym. And it, I had said that like for the past month, quitting a gym is not easy. On paper, practically, it's very easy. All you have to do is go in and sign a piece of paper, right? But you have to go in. And yesterday, I summoned the courage to go into the gym that I've been going to on and off for the past 20-something years. And I unjoined. I quit. I'm not going to pussyfoot around it. I quit. Because the gym itself sucks, Okay. Um, the guy asked me, may I ask why you're quitting? And I felt like saying, dude, you saw me a year ago and now you're seeing me now. You see that I've gained all this weight. 
do you, are you really going to ask me that question? And I looked him in the eye and I said, I'm working in a new place and there's a gym in my new workplace. <laughs> I lied. Yes. Metallic mom fibbed. Okay. Because I'm just not in the mood to deal with him trying to sell me something to stay there. Okay. It wasn't about money. And I, it really wasn't about money because I ended up, and I'll tell you this right now, I, I, from there, I left there quitting that gym and I drove to a new gym. My husband, and I drove to a new gym and I signed a new contract with a new gym. Okay. So it wasn't just that I needed a, a break in the price. I went from paying $37 at the shitty gym, the one that I've been going to for years and years. I was paying $37 a month there. And now I'm paying $54 a month, I think, at a brand new gym, which has free parking. I was in an ideal situation. The old gym, which was costing me $37, was probably going to cost me somewhere between $40 and $60 a month in parking because it was street parking. So I'd be paying it every day. Um, so right then and there, it's not more money. It's, it's, I'm, I'm paying about the same, if not less. Okay. Uh, because it's free parking at my new gym. They also have free tanning. Now, listen, if you are somebody who is a victim of skin, skin cancer, if you have skin cancer in your family, if you're like super duper anti, you know, UV rays, that kind of thing, just go ahead and think what you need to think. You don't need to click anything in the in the comments below. You don't have to tell me. If you want to, that's fine. I'm just going to ignore it or whatever. I need doses of vitamin D on a regular basis. Obviously, I'm not doing this for aesthetic reasons, okay? I have used uh, tanning beds in the past for many, many years. It helps me with my, with my seasonal effect disorder. It helps me with my my -ness. <laughs> It helps me with m me, okay? If you've never laid in a tanning bed, then you have no idea, and that's fine. Please don't make a judgment if you've never experienced it, okay? There's a reason why people get addicted to it. I've never been addicted to it. I've never gone more than twice a week. More than likely, I'll only be utilizing this place once a week. Okay. And you won't even see it. It won't even be enough for you to see the color on my face. Okay. But it's free tanning. They also have aqua massage beds, which is like this, like, it looks like a, um, a, like a recliner and you sit in it and then like all these jets like hit you from below kind of a thing. So that's free. Um, free towels. My old gym did not have free towels. Um, free a bunch of stuff. I can't even remember. Oh, every time you go there, you you're gaining points. So yeah, they have a juice bar right there. Like anytime I want to, when I'm done with a workout, I could just ask for like a carrot and apple and ginger juice thing. And they have it right then and there. They've got all these protein bars and shakes and stuff like that there. Um, they have amazing brand new equipment, spanking new brand new equipment. Um, they have a ton of cardio equipment, just everything that you would want to, you know, use. Um, like I said, free parking. It's right in my stop and shop parking garage. It was such a relief to quit the old gym and join the, the new gym. So that was yesterday. This morning I woke up just sinus, snot, mucus, terribleness. And I had two piping hot cups of coffee to try to melt the ball of mucus that's behind my face. And I put on my sports bra and I put on my champion pants and I put on my sneakers and I went. Today was day one. And that's that. And that's that. I just have to do it. I just have to do it because my appetite is too high to just diet. I need to also exercise. I do better with exercise. I love exercise. I've been exercising my entire life and I have abandoned exercise for the past 18 months. Like I have not been consistent with my exercise whatsoever and I need to get back into it because my hip, my hip, my artificial hip replacement is looking at me going, bitch. Are you serious? You're really going to ignore me right now? 
I'm 46 years old. If I ignore this thing right now and I destroy my hip implant, in five years I'm going to be in for revision. And I know that a lot of you who don't exercise on a regular basis would probably think, okay, so you shouldn't be on an elliptical, you shouldn't be doing the bike, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be on a treadmill, this and that, because it's going to wear down your hip implant. No. No. If I don't use it, it goes faster than if I use it. Trust me. I know this. So I have to work through pain. And I have to work through sickness and I have to work through bullshit that's going on in my head. I wish I could get back the three or four months of the past, you know, me paying for that gym that I didn't go to it. $37 times three or four, 150 bucks, whatever. It's okay. I am now really jazzed about this gym. So my... My issue right now is that with the membership that I bought, it comes with a free fitness assessment. <sighs> the last thing I need is for somebody to take my height and take my weight and throw BMI bullshit at me and then say to me, okay, pick up this thing and let's see how many reps you can do. And squat this many times and let's see how many reps you can do and let's do sit-ups and see how many sit-ups you can do bitch I know that I'm weak I know that for the first time in my entire life as an adult or a child I am the weakest and I have the least amount of muscle mass right now I know that <coughs> I blame Sensi actually <laughs> it's situational anyway um And I'm drinking Fresca soda, um, calorie free. Anyway, I'm dying. <coughs> 12 minutes in, I gotta go. Um, on Monday, I have this fitness assessment and I really don't want to do it. I don't need anybody to tell me how weak I am and how much work I have in front of me. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to have a trainer who's 20 years younger than me, who's never had a weight problem, tell me what I need to do. And I'm going to let it go in one ear and out the other. <coughs> because I feel like it's braver to do that than to just cancel the appointment. I'm going to take what I can from it. I'm going to hope that I'm wrong, that it's not somebody who is talking at their ass. And even if it is somebody who's talking up their ass, I'm going to be able to pick and choose what they say and I will um, take from it what I want. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to sign me up for like, you know, three or four personal training sessions a week. And I can't afford that. I can't afford any more than the $57 a month or whatever it is that I'm paying. <coughs> My sinus infection is taking me, so I'm going to go. I'm going to end the video now, but... You guys know what I'm saying, right? I'm going to go to this fitness assessment and it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. It's going to suck. It's going to suck balls. Um, and I'm going to see how bad this person tries to make me feel. Because I'm, I'm, I'm negative right now. But maybe they'll make me feel awesome. <coughs> I doubt it. But um, that's where I am right now. So... Uh, happy Thursday, February 21st, 2019, 638 at night here in New York. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.